Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Ragnarok Origin Global Upcoming Preparation Guides You Should Know. From the dev latest patch note, we can know that the upcoming content is quality of life update, new sigil, and guild quiz event. There are actually plenty of things to prepare so that you won't waste your resource and able to maximize the reward you can get in the future. Now, I will list out, the upcoming update that should release on August 2023, predict list, dev might modify the content. New class sigil and passive sigil will be updated. You need to stack up sigil box and only open it after August server update. By doing this, you will able to get the new sigil, from the sigil box you save, right after the August 2023 update. Stack up the sigil box from Juparos and Sensor Ranking, Diamond Shop, GVG Shop, Guild Contribute Shop, etc. Predict 7 new class sigil and 2 passive sigil will release on August. New passive sigil. Deadly Meteor. Increase damage if the target HP is too high compared with you. This is the best damage sigil at the moment. But this may not work well when PvP as Knight or Paladin. Because their HP is always higher than others. The next new passive sigil is Trash, with low damage, low hit target, and long CD. No class is recommended to use this at the moment. It allow you to deal extra 60k damage to nearby enemy, with 15 seconds cool down, while you can actually deal 1.6 million damage to the main target. There is also new class sigil, wizard sigil is still trash, because the pet will still spoil the freeze combo. Blacksmith sigil is not good, because card is their main meta, but trolling cutter only can use for grinding. Assassin new class sigil is also no good, because Sinx never lacks ignore defense. Sniper new class sigil allow him deal extra 800% damage every 2 seconds just like a powerful version of auto double strafe. Free built in orc archer. Monk new class sigil allows him break shield such as Kyrie Leeson, Bulldog Pet Shield, Shield Sigil etc easier. Also added ability to run away after Asura. Knight and Priest Sigil is also good. Better than Wizard, Blacksmith, and Assassin. Make sure you saved extra class Sigil box, so you can instantly get new Sigil right after the update. From the patch note, it says it will reduce daily stress. It should be meaning that, adding free, skip ticket, from daily event. One click donate, allow you instant finish cat paw caravan instantly. Auto buy all goods needed. Players also can gain 12 to 24 skip tickets from daily event, such as, extreme challenge, guild expedition, guild league, and arena every day. Not sure if global follow or not. Use those skip tickets on Helheim, board quest, Yggdrasil solo or duo. So you will become less stressed, maybe. 
so the only things left you need to manual, are still the daily event, MVP, Mini and Elite, Juperos, and Nightmare Temple. Still stress? Comment below and let me know haha. Ha. New Glassheim MVP Illusion card should be coming soon, so better save your Illusion card shard now. Players now can get team reward by getting top 3 in MVP hunt, which is possible if you farm the low level MVP with a party. You can get 10 pieces as top 3, 3 pieces extra personal reward per MVP, so you can collect up to 65 shard per day. Keep doing this, you need 40 days to get 2500 pieces shard to exchange the illusion MVP card. Most recommended is the Owl Baron. For physical class. Owl Baron, accessory card, it give you 3% to make your next damage become double. Physical class only. It works perfectly with the class that, is affected by attack speed. Such as Knight's Pierce combo, Blacksmith's Cart Revolution, Sniper or Assassin Auto Attack. The best class to use is Knight, Blacksmith, and Stalker, second best is Sniper and Assassin Auto Attack build. The faster you attack with physical DMG, it higher the proc rate the Owl Baron got. Also, the multiple Owl Baron Illusion card will trigger individually. Meaning if you have 2 or 4 pieces Owl Baron Illusion card, the higher chance and possibility to trigger double, quadruple, or more damage in one hit. Please note that, Magic class cannot trigger this effect. In the future, they will release two slots for head, shoe, and garment. Don't know when, but you can always prepare first to avoid snapping. Most recommended is the cramp card, you need 8 pieces for max tier. The best head DPS card that lasts very long. In the future, Dev will upgrade the Deviruchi ticket to SP version, with better reward. Don't know when, but you can keep the old version first. The old version, global current version, can be sold with 1k Jenny. Which is better than you using it to get a trash reward. The current version can get a very minor reward, sometimes can be only 20k Eden coins low. while the updated ticket can get S pet summon, time space feather etc. Also there may be his new class, Alchemist is coming in July or August. Because recently Taiwan just buffed Alchemist too. Alchemist is extremely weak in the previous version, so they decide to buff first, before release to global. Maybe. From the Taiwan Alchemist buff patch note, it reduce its skill cooldown and increase equipment break chance, so overall from trash promo to support. Definitely not DPS. Alchemist weapon, Mace is already implemented in the game, so it should release in July, or August after testing at Taiwan servers first. いいねをクリック動画をシェアするよろしくお願いします。<音楽>